Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today we are checking out the Revolver Follow Focus System from Bright Tangerine. And one of the things I look for on systems that work with the lens or get rigged to our camera is how easy they're uh, able to be used in cold weather when you're wearing gloves. So for the rest of this uh, demonstration here, I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, close-ups of all the different features, but also the gloves are on. I want to start by looking at the tie down for the follow focus. Here it has a unique lever system. You'll see it's coming towards us. It's now in a free floating situation. I can adjust it where I need to and I center it. This little tangerine lever comes out. I have to depress that in order for it to move. I can also push this in and swing it back. Same, same result. The locking position is the center position. Now, depending on what I have in front of me, say a mat box or sunshade, I may not be able to swing it forward. So it's very nice to have the ability to either go back or to go forward to make an adjustment or to pop it off of the rods. Notice that it clips on and off very quickly. We have 15 millimeter lightweight spacing built into the follow focus. And then we have the option for 19 or 15 millimeter studio on the bottom here by loosening this uh, tie down right here and swinging the appropriate adapter in. I've stripped the follow focus down so we can start building it up and showing different features within it. Here I want to show you the swing arm. Now the swing arm is what swings up with this gear and connects to the focus gear on the lens. It's being held down or tied down by this tangerine knob right here. We could loosen this and we could register it on the front so we have uh, the ability to quickly change the location of the swing arm depending on where things build onto the platform for the lens. This large tie down here is the one that controls the uh, tie down of the swing arm to the lens. Now notice it's nice and big and beefy and it's spring loaded so I can pull it out and re-register it wherever I need it to be, and we're ready to go. Before I put the hand wheel on the follow focus, I wanna talk about the speed crank. Now this is a unique design from Bright Tangerine. Typically a speed crank is pretty straightforward. It's uh, essentially a little elbow that plugs into our hand wheel and off we go. Well, this one, we have several levels of control with it. First of all, I can remove the hand wheel completely, put it in its place, and I'm going to rotate this collar counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. And now it's installed. And now I have the traditional functionality of a speed crank. But what makes this really interesting is that I have two different controls on this. First of all, on the top, I can swing this out. So I can articulate this to different angles. And again, I can tie it down and I could move that tie down lever because it's spring loaded. So I can re-register it where it's more convenient to work with it. I can also take this lever down here. And I'm gonna loosen that. And now I can trombone or expand or contract the length of the crank itself. And again, this is spring loaded as well. So I could re-locate that where it's more convenient. And now I have a speed crank that takes the place of the hand wheel, allows me to get into very precarious situations and be able to pull focus. Before I put the hand wheel on the follow focus, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that the tie down here is nice and beefy. Again, it's an easy thing to work with when you have gloves on, when it's cold. We also have the option of putting an extension on it. I've installed the extension. Now I'm gonna put this on. And again, we have a nice wide tie down here. And if I wish, I can put my speed crank on here, tie it down, and we're ready to go. The hand wheel on the follow focus has the usual features we would expect and some additions. The marking scale can be taken off and flipped over, uh, just as we would expect on any professional follow focus. It also has this little registration pin here that can be loosened and rotated or oriented to a location. What's really interesting about this is that it 
works in conjunction with these registration marks or what we can use to set focus. The way that it works are these little pins that get engaged. And on the end of each of these pins is a little O-ring and that helps to absorb when that pin meets the focus mark. So I'm gonna engage these two, I've already preset it, and I'm doing a focus pull from eight to 12 feet. So my focus line is right there. So I'm gonna start my focus and I'm gonna pull and go to 12 feet. And the result of having those little O-rings right there, it helps to absorb when you finish the focus. So you get a nice subtle focus pull. Also, the hand wheel itself has this nice contour with this uh, material here. It's easy to grip onto and it matches the contours of your fingers. And that concludes my look at the Revolver Faller Focus from Bright Tangerine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.